the Victor from Australian Honeybee again. Uh, so you probably saw in that previous video how strong the bees are and how well they're performing at the moment. So we're out here in central New South Wales. There's not many really wild beehives around here, so the communal feeding setup works really well. Um, we're on ironbark, which is an Australian eucalyptus tree. It produces lots of nectar, but doesn't produce pollen. And uh, so what we're doing is using this custom bee feed from uh, Hampson Honey. Um, we've designed this little feeder. Um, well, Carl, Carl and Eddie have kind of given us the rundown on how to put this together, but it's working out very well. So we've just got a 65 litre, well, I think it's a 60 litre garbage bin that we buy from Bunnings. Uh, we drilled two holes in the bottom of the hive, the block outside of the bin, and we slipped that uh, 25 mil bamboo broom handle. Again, that's something we just buy from, the, from Bunnings. Uh, we, up underneath the bin, you won't you be able to see that, but we, we use an S-hook, which we also get from Bunnings, the hardware store, uh, to hang the bag on, and then we cut these upside down triangles, a couple of rows, three rows around the bottom of the bag. Then what we discovered too is a lot of the feed lands on the ground. And if, you can, if you have a look down here, you'll see the bees are just, it's very early in the morning here at the moment, but the bees are already starting to collect the, the feed. So what we've done is just, just now is we've put this, we've used the lid of the garbage bin now to capture uh, anything that falls out, which is some tie wire. So, and we've also underneath here, we've drilled a couple of holes in there just in case it gets moisture in there uh, the water can can drip out so you show these holes under here so you see the holes we just put a couple of I think eight or ten mil holes with a drill so when you uh, if it does rain but this really stops it from falling on the ground uh, but it doesn't seem to be a problem falling on the ground if the um, the bees lick this clean, so when, once that bag's finished, the bees will take every last skerrick off, off the ground here. Of the, of the and if you look closely, you might have seen it in the video, you'll see them leaving here with the pods of, looks like pollen, and, uh, on the back on their back legs. So they get in there and they, they load up their back legs, like this bee here. You see that bee there, this one here. So loading up. Uh, when you get, they go back to the hive, when you, look, when you inspect the front of the hive, you'll see them coming and going, like, and they look like they've got pollen on their legs. Um, so what we're finding is this is maintaining a, a, enough brood in the hive to keep the bee numbers going, but we think it also extends the life of the bee, because as you saw from that earlier video shot, the bees are a very healthy, a nice colour. Often this time of year when you work your bees hard, they don't respond well, they end up going black and shiny and obviously shortens their lifespan. So this is new territory for us. We coming from timber hives, we haven't really worked bees this time of year to this extent, so we'll be interested to see how this all goes. Thanks for watching. So just further on that Hampson hunting bee feed, this is a frame one of the wall frames that we pulled out of the hive here at uh, Central New South Wales. As you can see, hopefully the video can focus on it. Uh, they've packed it, well they've stored it, quite a lot of that bee feed in the hive. Now we'll just show you this frame, just pick up that frame of brood there. This is on iron bark in the time, which iron bark produces, so there's no nectar of uh, pollen available. No pollen whatsoever here coming off the, out of the environment. They're definitely storing it. And they've got a good solid frame of... Have they got pollen in there? The protein in there? The there we go. So you can see the... The custom bee feed is being stored in the frames uh, by pollen. And as you can see from that, if you can get the sun right, you'll see that they've got a lovely, healthy, glossy white um, brood going on. I mean it's the pattern's probably not perfect but but the, the health of the, the brood is, is very strong. And we're taking honey off today which like I said blows me away. I've never seen 
bees that do that. So, burning the lid. Let's look at the colour of the bees. Hopefully the video can pick that up, but the bees are... Often when you flog your bees, or not flog, but work your bees hard um, under these conditions, the bees don't look like that. They normally get a sort of, become sort of a dark, shiny thing, and uh, I don't think their lifespan is very long at all, which is why often your bees collapse. But here I'm quite confident that these bees have got a very life, long lifespan and will work very comfortably here in these conditions even though it's 28th of May and uh, the weather is starting to really that cool weather is starting to come in so what I wanted to show you here is this is the custom bee feed so as you can see on the label it's got 37 percent crude protein content but it also has all the vitamins, so vitamin A, B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B9, B12, vitamin D, D3, vitamin E, vitamin K, biotin and yeast culture, which are all good for the bees and necessary for the bees' diet. And then in the minerals, they've got zinc, copper, selenium, iodine, magnet, manganese, iron, chromium, cobalt, calcium, phosphorus and then of course importantly is all the amino acids so I'll just home in on the amino acids because these are really important but you've got all the key amino acids built into the mix and that's why we think we're getting such healthy bees uh, from the bee feed, the custom bee feed um, we think the bees are living longer than they normally would with the nutrition that's available in the natural environment and that's why they're putting on a lot of honey um, and of course compounding that is the fact that they've got a nicely insulated beehive so they they're not feeling the cold this time of year which is it's it's now um, end of um, well it was end of May when we took this video so very cold but the bees are still really working strongly um, packing in honey and uh, they still had a good two frames of brood and the brood uh, when the bees live long have a long life the queen doesn't have to lay as many eggs because uh, you know uh, attrition is not as uh, aggressive so the bees only need to maintain a, a smaller population of bees uh, to get the job done. Thanks for watching.